Uh, in this small session, we will look at frictional electricity. Uh, the word electricity comes from the Greek word electron for fossilized resin or petrified resin. A resin is a gum-like material secreted by trees. In English, we call this amber. Uh, two and a half a millennia ago itself, uh, ancients knew if you rub amber with cloth or animal fur, it could attract light objects or dry leaves. In 16th century, William Gilbert uh, observed many different materials behave like amber. He called it electric materials. Uh, this process of rubbing a material to make it behave like amber is what you call frictional electricity or if you want me to define it uh, when you wrap two different materials together the material acquire the property of attracting light bodies and this is what you call frictional electricity so let's look at what really happens here uh, if you have two different materials, why should we first have two different materials? Because, because no two different materials behaves the same way. In fact, they have different levels of affection towards electrons. Say, let's say, um, the apparent neutrality of matter is just a myth because we know that uh, every piece of material contains trillions of atoms or molecules uh, which have equal number of protons and electrons so if you take two different materials let's say for instance I'm having here let us say 20 protons and 20 electrons here so it is neutral and here we have 50 protons and 50 electrons here which is again neutral so electrons charges electrons charges minus E protons charges plus E they are exactly equivalent opposite when you rub materials I mean this electrons will get transferred from one material to another material based on uh, how much the material likes electron so here the electrons are only getting transferred but not protons protons are living inside the nucleus and the transfer of nucleus from this to that is uh, compared to electrons very difficult because each nucleus uh, even for the lightest uh, element like hydrogen and uh, helium it's around 2000 to 8000 times heavier than an electron so electron transfer is far easier so when you rub electrons jump from here to here suppose here in this case five electrons jump from here to here makes this side 20 protons with only 15 electrons but this side 55 electrons plus 50 protons now this gained electron hence it gained 5 electrons extra so the charge is minus 5e this has lost electrons how many electrons it has lost 5 electrons so 15 protons compensating for 15 electrons so 5 protons in excess so the charge is plus 5e whenever a material is positively charged in this case positively charged and this material is negatively charged so so what we do here is imbalance of charges charge of a material is not the total charge present but the excess charge five protons are in excess hence it is positively charged five electrons are in excess so it is negatively charged in other words five electrons deficit so positively charged five electrons in excess negatively charged so here you will understand now how uh, charge is quantized when an electron jumps from here to here only the entire full electron jumps not half the electron or three-fourth of the electron because of that charge each jump each e is transferred so the total negatively charged is the total charge of the material q is n number of electrons that got jumped into this so the this is a negative set so it is minus n e so n electrons it has lost so the charge is plus n e 
You see, in this process of frictional electricity, we have created two charged objects. One that is negatively charged, one that is positively charged. So, equal amount of positively charged. We can say that uh, whenever you rub two different materials, they both are charged. They both are charged equally but in the opposite ways. So, here, since electrons get transferred, mass is also transferred. In the process of charging a body, you do mass transfer because electrons are jumping. So, this material which is negatively charged acquired extra electrons. So, it has gained mass. Mass is gained. So, here, mass is lost because it lost electrons. So, the mass last here is each electron let us say has a mass m e then the total mass it has lost is n times m e so mass lost so the mass gained here is n times mass of the electron so uh, i would like to remind you here that charge of the electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb with a negative sign proton is plus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kilogram which seems to be very 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 tiny mass proportion yet it does matter because if you look at how many electrons constitute uh, say one coulomb is we just can work out which is 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons will come together to produce minus one coulomb. 